Hey Kenneth, this is Nate out here in San Antonio. Um, wanted to shoot this little video for you, kind of give you some ideas. I've got three free things that you can kind of put together an action plan to get your site ranking better on Google. Uh, the first one of those is really all about content. Google looks for about 1500 words on your homepage and probably 500 to 750 on all of your service pages. Um, you here probably have you know, two or three hundred words on the front and Google really looks at that content and that's how they find the keywords and things that they want to rank you for. So I found two other guys doing similar stuff that showed up in my search, but one of them is this Tampa Bay pressure washing, you know, grime time pressure washing. They also do not have a lot of content. You know, they've probably got, you know, 150, 200 words max. So that's definitely something that we can beat them out really easy. Um, these guys driveway plus pressure washing. They actually do have quite a bit of content. They're still not up there in, you know, they're not up there in the thousands, I don't think, but they've probably got close to a thousand maybe. Um, and like I said, Google really looks for about 1500, which is, allows you to put those keywords in place. Um, the other thing that we really like to look at are the citations and the citations talk about this area right here with the google maps citations are basically your name your address and phone number exactly as it's listed in your google my business page and different directories such as yelp you know white pages yp better business bureau uh, merchant circle all those type of directories um, right now you have 13 Grime Time has 20, and then the Driveways Plus has 39. So that's really easy to get you in more of those directories, get your name listed, and get that ranking going up. And that would give you better odds of getting up here into this map pack for your pressure washing business. Um, third that we really like to look at are your backlinks. And backlinks are basically another site that points back to your site. So with different referring domains and things like that, um, blog posts, stuff like that, where you get a link back to your page, all of that helps with your ratings. Right now, you're not really showing any, and you're showing up for three organic keywords, but even with those, you know, one of them is, I think that's your phone number there, washerama and rama.com, you're not really getting any traffic from those. You're in the 11th position here, which is on the top of the second page, um, 80th position, which is, I think, the bottom of the 8th page. Um, 77 is also on the 8th page. If you look at some of these other guys, you know, right here, these guys, you know, they've got 12 backlinks, but they're showing up for 81 organic keywords, and they're getting three hits a month because of that. And if you look at some of the keywords they have, you know, pool cage cleaning, they're still in the 16th position, but there's 100 people looking for that every month. Um, you know, you can go down through here and look at some of the gutter cleaning Tampa there in the 28th position, but they're still getting, you know, they're getting one person every couple of months that clicks on that, but there's a hundred searches for that word. So we really need to look for some of these buyer intent keywords, you know, pull screen cleaning. There's 50 people a month to look for that. These guys are in the 17th position. So we just need to go through and kind of see which one of these keywords, you know, the higher rank ones will work for you and get them built into your website. Um, these guys here, as far as backlinks go, they are killing it. They've got 11,400, but they've only got 34 of them that are actually referring back to them. So they may have a lot of no good backlinks, but that's something that we could look at down the road too. Um, they've got 455 keywords generating 303 visits to their site every month. So they're working some in the Palm Harbor area, but pressure washing Palm Harbor, they're in the first position. There's 200 people a month that search for that. They're getting 64 hits just from that one keyword. Um, let's see, gutter cleaning near me. Now that's not focused on Tampa necessarily, but there's 15,000 people that look for that. They're getting 32 visits a month because of that keyword, and they're, and they're on the second page, and they're still getting that type of traffic. So that's the kind of stuff that I would recommend for you is finding the, you know, finding the keywords that we can get that are buyer intent and city specific to where you want to work and what you want to do and somehow get those built into your website. Um, that's really about it. Those are the three main things that we try to do. 
is just, like I said, get you ranking. But if you look at the other guys here, you know, we don't really count Yelp and some of these directories, but the driveway cleaning, you know, those guys are ranked second here. And then we've got, you know, Angie's List, Home Advisor, you know, those are all just directories, yellow pages. But then the Grime Time guys are down here in number eight on the first page, which is why they're getting the type of traffic they are. Um, I would love to help you out with some of that stuff. If you're interested, you know, give me a call, 210-383-8401. Shoot me a message on Facebook. You know, I can kind of try to walk you through some of this, or we can set up a set up a plan of attack. Realistically, if you're looking to focus more on the pressure washing side, I would recommend building out a site specifically for pressure washing. But like I said, that's all, you know, we can work with the site we have. It's all a matter of budget, what you want to do. But there's just a couple things that you might be able to do on your own, get your ranking up there a little bit better. And like I said, if you need any help, give me a call. Thank you.